This is the story of a witch and wizard, and they made a magic potion for casting spells, and those spells will turn the city topsy-turvy, and it's up to the animals to save the world. It's a witch. Mega magic, mega magic, retro potion. 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 and cozy inside. Everything is so deliciously quiet. Hmm. Oh, I love thunder. What on earth? Boobonic. Oh, I can't believe what that good-for-nothing did. He's put my lovely suit in the washing machine. Can't that revoltingly repulsive reprobate read? The tag says, dry clean only! <laughs> what a dumbo! When I think of all the fun in the sun being spoiled for all those hapless humans, it makes me feel so warm inside. Yeah, really warm. In fact, only one thing could make me feel happier. Winning! Checkmate, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you not to eat my pieces? Now, if you ate one of the Tyranias, I might be a bit more forgiving. Spread it out! Or else! Now look what you've done. Fine. Bad meathead! You're punished! I don't want to see you anymore today! Now, where was I? Oh, yes. Checkmate! Bobonic! Oh, Did you do this? Oh, please, refrain from waving wet rags in front of my face, Auntie. Wet rag? These are my favorite lamb's wool overalls! My absolute favorite! You are not supposed to put them in the water! Never heard of a dry cleaning, you bird brain! Now, see here, Auntie. I am a wizard, not a jack of all trades. You should have done your own laundry. Anyway, I think I did you a favor. Anyone would look ridiculous in one of those things. Maggot! I see that once again you are airing your family laundry in public. Instead of casting evil spells on Megalopolis, you pale, pathetic imitations of wizards! That's what you're supposed to be doing! Or should I refresh your memory? It's raining cats and dogs out there. Megalopolis citizens don't want to go out. There's no need to cause any chaos. Mother Nature is doing our job for us. Hmm. Pretty chess pieces you have here. And this is what I'm going to do to you. If you two sorry excuses for evil, don't cast a suitably sinister spell on the city. Right here! If I were you, I would get to work. Oh, that maggot! What a cockroach! You think you'd give us just one day off? You know, Moritzu, we have to try something new. We stick to them like glue till they go to the lab. Like glue. That's the only way we'll know what they're up to. Do you understand? Like glue. It's your fault, you pea brain! You upset him with your ridiculous chess pieces! I upset him! Who is the shrew screeching about our shrunken laundry? I've got an idea! Follow me! Let's go after them. <laughs> like glue. <sighs> Tell me your idea, my dear auntie. What are we gonna do? We're going to make everyone in Megalopolis shrink, just like you shrank my lovely lambswool overall. 
muscles by getting them wet. As soon as a drop of water touches any living creature in the city, it will shrink and become as tiny as the pieces of your chess game. <laughs> we shall be giants among Lilliputians. Just imagine, my dear nephew, how powerful we will be. Yeah, I have no trouble imagining, my dear auntie. Yes. No trouble whatsoever. No trouble. Maurizio. Hey there, Maurizio. I know what he needs. Some fresh air and a little rain in his face to revive him. By the power, hail and hearty, of an earthquake on a roll! Through these parts be part and party of the one and only scroll! Formula of deepest night, if it's you, then show your might! Join what once was went asunder to the sound of flames and thunder! Ready, set, watch punch! A flea from that flea-bitten feline of yours, Maurizio! Water? Gulliver's Travels! This, this weird, ugly thing that has now thankfully been rendered useless. Oh, potent bowl of omnipotent potion! Now hear our wish and grant us a notion! Every living being will shrink! Except us, of course. Before they can blink! Because when they get wet, they'll get as small as small can get! And now let's say it in reverse to make our curse a whole lot worse. Get yeah. can small as small as death they'll. When death they win because quick can they before shrink will be live every. I can't believe how heavy he is. And all this rain. My rheumatism will make me pay for this. It's a real challenge to work with this cat. Too bad for me he doesn't think Thin is in. Uh-oh. Here we go again. Looks like the wizards have cast a spell. Whatever it is, guess we'll find out soon enough. Time for you to wake up, Moritz. Uh, Mauricio. Mauricio? Hey, what's going on here? The wizards have cast a jungle spell. <laughs> jungle spell. Giant ladybugs. Yikes! <laughs> Giant birds! Either the spell's made Jacob really big, or it's made me really small! Jacob! I don't want to miss a minute of the big shrinking show! Yeah, it'll be great! Especially now that the rain stopped and we can enjoy this bright sunshine! Hey! hey sunshine? sunshine? But, but if it's not raining, no one will get wet and... No one will shrink! Maggot is gonna be absolutely out of his mind if we fail again! We've gotta do something, Auntie. Wait! So who needs rain? We can squirt everybody with water and shrink them ourselves! Ah, it'll be fun, Bobby! Yes, yes, and I have exactly what we need. Get ready to go to the city, my dear aunt. I am going to get what we need to water Megalopolis into a mini-lopolis. <laughs> no, me, Ed. You've been a bad boy. You're being punished. No water for you. Maurizio! Where could he have gone? He sure can be fast when he wants to. I didn't even see him leave. Yeah. Please, Jacob, be careful! No, oh, what's the use? He's too big and far away to hear me. Hmm. Maybe he went over to Kipps to beg for a snack. Ah, uh, yes, I can see it now. He comes in all wet from the rain with that pathetic look in his eyes. As if old Roly-Poly needs any more food. <laughs> Oh, roly-poly, is it? Now I know why people wish they were flies on the wall. <laughs> if only I can get up to his back. 
And to think I'm the one who taught him how to scratch like a cat. Not a cat in sight. Maurizio may have disappeared, but he sure left me his fleas. You're here too. Now I get it. That's the spell. People shrink when they get wet. The rain! Maurizio! The rain made him shrink. That's why I couldn't find him. Once you explain to him really slowly, he understands really quickly. Maurizio is still somewhere out in the manor garden. I need to go back and find him before he gets into serious trouble. But first things first, I'll get these little ladies out of harm's way in this big kitchen. No! Jacob! Here! I'm here! it too. Here we go. A perfect fit. This should be safe there. Now, to find Maurizio. <sighs> Sorry, doll. If I am having a nightmare, I need to lie down. <clears throat> These doll houses sure look a lot better from the outside, Mom. How's my doll supposed to have fun shopping for clothes when these tacky drawers don't even open? Ouch! And how can she sleep with these plastic pillows? <sighs> It's like Niagara Falls in here. Oh. Maurizio? Maurizio? Yes, it's me, your old roly-poly partner, who I've been calling you for ages. I doubt everyone else in the city is as lucky. We're gonna need to get a riddle from Auntie Noah to reverse the spell. How much time do I have left, Maurizio? Hmm, I'm sorry, but even with my bird's eye view, I can't read anything that small. We only have two hours left! We better get going, Jacob. I don't want to stay like this for the rest of my life. My noble ancestors from Venice were big people, not Lilliputians. Well, it's certainly a lot easier to lift a Lilliputian. Hmm. It's a good thing it stopped raining, otherwise it would be a real disaster. Look at that one! We absolutely have to stop those wizards from squirting people. Forget about them! Let's just break the spell now! Oh, Maurizio, how can you be that selfish? Well, it's easy for you to say. I really don't want to be stuck like this. Neither do the Cozies nor anybody else. But don't worry, Maurizio. We can take care of this fast, and then we'll break the spell. I promise. Here's my plan. Yeah! <laughs> Hang on, Maurizio. Next pass, you jump out. 
scratch and prick and do whatever it takes to make him stop squirting. Hey. Yeah. I knew my master rarely washed, but I never guessed how bad it really was. Oh well, duty calls. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I, I don't know. I, I got bugs or something. Well, it's itchy. The, the little things on my head. It, oh, just, uh, uh, Probably uh, head lice, you low-life louse. But I always thought they were in your head, not on your head. Uh, I can't stand it anymore, Auntie. Take me back to the matter. I need to get rid of these things. Uh, I need a good shower. Naturally, now that we're having fun, you need a shower. Oh, you're such a spoil sport. Uh. Mission accomplished, Maurizio. Now I'll get to Auntie Noah's for a riddle to stop the spell. I told them not to go and swim in the pond. We cats know that nothing good ever comes out of messing with water. So, you've seen the wizard's evil spell firsthand. I need a riddle, Auntie Noah, and fast, or everybody's gonna stay little forever. Well... Here is your riddle. Water? That's more like it. Here is your riddle. Water's good to drink. Water can make you shrink. If someone's refreshed well, it will reverse the spell. Good luck, Jacob. Oh. I need a good shower! It has to be Babonic. No one needs a shower as badly as he does. But I've got to make sure he takes one. So, back to the manor. Oh, no! Can't let myself get wet! Oh! Is it raining? Uh -huh. uh, this isn't the easiest way to fly, but it's the driest. No need to worry. Babonic is taking a shower. The spell will be broken, and we didn't have to do a thing. I can't wait to tell that one to Maurizio. Hmm. Maurizio, in the shower. He'll go right down the drain. Maurizio, can you hear me? I need to get in there. Oh, if only I was the famous fly on the wall, I could get through the keyhole. But, yeah. Well, it's about time. I've been screaming my little lungs out. Oh, it's going to be much easier to communicate now that we're the same size. Oh, we only have 20 minutes left, Jacob. After that, we'll be shrimps for the rest of our lives. Don't worry. You didn't get Auntie Noah's riddle, but I assure you that as soon as Bubonic hits that shower, we are home free and the spell will be broke. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, what were you saying, Jacob? Nothing. <laughs> So heavy. I liked it better when you were a shrimp and I was normal. <laughs> Quick, Jacob, we only have six minutes left. What did Auntie Noah say? She talked about someone having a shower and being refreshed. I thought she meant Babonic. Mm. Now I really don't know who or what she meant. Who needs to be refreshed? Uh oh. <laughs> Jacob, look out! <laughs> Mauricio, help me! Can't you leave him alone, you stupid dry piece of broccoli? Mm. I sure hope there's still some water in there. Yeah. Take this! <laughs> <laughs> we did it, Maurizio! We broke the spell! So, my little pal, where 
Where's my mail? What? I could have sworn I had an umbrella. I don't get it. I was just trying to keep that plan from ending our partnership. How did I break the spell? It's because it was Meathead who needed a good shower. We refreshed him all right. By the way, thank you, Maurizio. You're welcome. Guess being old roly-poly comes in handy once in a while. <laughs> hey! Who is the cat who perked you up? Ungrateful plant! <laughs> hey! For once, you have a man in your arms! <laughs> oh, I am sorry. <laughs> but it's so unusual! <laughs> You think it's funny, don't you? In case you haven't noticed, our mailman is no longer a shrimp! The spell is a failure! Do you think that's funny too, you noodle brain? Here, all oh, this! One good for nothing is more than I can handle. I don't need another one! Mr. Maggot! What a good... Don't waste your breath. I intend to be quick about it. I don't want to waste my whole day in this place. But it would be so delightful! Enough! You failed once more! You really are ridiculously small wizards! Meaningless, little, miserable wizards! Little nobodies! <laughs> yeah. Hey, let me out of here! I'm just the mailman! I got nothing to do with this crazy! No! No way! I know what it's like now. Here, little ants, I'll share with you. <laughs> <laughs>